Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are going to be going over the dog box install and testing in this video. Uh, I, it's no secret that transmission reliability has been a bit of a problem in this car. Uh, we've gone through three of them and uh, one of them was a built Gear X gear set which was supposed to handle about 500 horsepower which is what this car makes. However, it was not up to the task and uh, I decided that I wanted to kind of have a once and for all solution for the transmission. And in my research, I found the Samsonis dog box gear set kit. And I decided to go with this for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it's a six speed, which in time attack, uh, you need all, you basically need all the gears you can get. Uh, we run the cars like this thing, I'm assuming at Coda and Road Atlanta will hit somewhere around 160 plus. Um, and with the four speed dog boxes, you don't really get that. Uh, and then from there, the Samsonis kit also comes, it basically replaces everything in the transmission. Uh, the only OEM parts left are, I think, like one or two bearings. Other than that, literally every part is Samsonis. Um, forged gears, forged billet forks, uh, the final drive is also included in the kit. It's like $5,500, super good deal. Um, and you can get them from RS Feature if you decide you want to go this route. But uh, really killer setup. Uh, it was also designed for Rally, which is... Uh, it has a lot of high shock loads, which is what we were worried about. Like uh, if I jump a curb or just going between gears, I needed something that could handle that loading. And it seems like this is a setup that will do that. Um, it's been very reliable. A lot of people have used these for years in rally. So I'm uh, really excited to use it. Uh, the biggest differences between a dog box and a standard transmission is the engagement. So your typical car has a synchro mesh transmission and the synchro essentially lines up the gears. It's a separate component on the gear that lines up the teeth on the gear and basically meshes it together in a very smooth uh, and slow way. So that, that way you can smoothly uh, change gears, uh, which is nice for a street car. However, on a race car where you want it to basically be able to change gears as fast as you can and have it as reliable as possible, uh, the dog engagement uh, does not have a synchro and it has five dogs on the Samsonis setup. Uh, other dog boxes have six teeth, what they call the dogs and they basically mesh into the gear. And uh, from, from there, uh, because of that, you have to shift it really quickly and you have to be very precise. Otherwise you'll bounce the dogs off of each other and shred them. It's really easy to damage a dog box. Uh, essentially all motorsport, uh, sequential, all the race transmissions are all dog, dog engagement. Uh, the other advantage is that it's straight cut. So um, the straight cut gears have that cool whine, but uh, the big advantage is that they are stronger. Um, the the straight cut gears um, are stronger for uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, these are forged. And number two, um, you'll often hear people say that a helical gear is technically stronger, which is not wrong. That is technically correct because the amount of engagement you have in teeth with the helical gears where they're cut at an angle, uh, it is more. However, they are weaker because what happens is you also have an axial loading in it. So whereas with the dog box, the gears just kind of uh, they're loaded, they're, they want to push themselves apart. In a helical cut gearbox, they're pushing themselves apart and they're also pushing themselves up and down. So the shafts that, uh, that the gears ride on are working in two different load areas, uh, two different planes. And that's probably what, what shredded the gears on this uh, transmission that, that, uh, that was in the car. Third gear is, is basically non-existent. There is no third gear left there. And uh, the straight cut gearbox gets rid of that. So uh looking at all of the the possible options this is what we decided to do and uh i'm really happy with it it seems like it's gonna really fix all the issues that we're having and i'm looking forward to you know solid gear shifts and also the reliability and then from there the car should be solid so yeah we're gonna get the transmission in go do some testing and see how we're looking from there all right so everything is uh pretty much done trans is installed all good there uh, we're going to give it the first start here. I'm dirty, so I'm going to cover up this seat. Uh, so basically, McLeod went through, rebuilt the clutch, um, which is, I have their twin, uh, K-Series twin, which is uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, it's basically, it feels like a stock clutch in terms of engagement. Uh, I had a comp before and make my leg exhausted in the pits and jumpy and really didn't like it, but needed it for the reliability. So I switched to the McLeod one and it feels awesome. Um, 
and super easy like on the pedal like really really easy uh obviously you cannot tell how much force i'm putting into that but uh maybe maybe can uh so that's really good they just took it apart and wanted to inspect it um everything was good there james was a lifesaver on this he uh basically did everything we needed to get the trans sorted out the guys at cause were also awesome and worked basically late last night to get us uh, the diff sorted out and uh yeah so let's see how it goes With the low RPM and stuff like that, six can sometimes be a little challenging. So yeah, we have every gear, everything's good there. Uh, can't thank all of those people enough. We basically have three days to get into the trailer, ideally, and uh, or get the car into the trailer and get out of here. So I'm gonna get this all stopped together. Actually gonna change out the pan right now. Once that's done, take it for a quick drive and then get it to Buttonwillow. So thank God it works. So, uh, car is tested, did a quick once over, made sure that nothing was leaking, anything terrible like that. Everything seems to be good. It's loaded on the trailer. And uh, we're gonna go testing tomorrow. It is 2.15 in the morning, kinda tired, but uh, better to be tired now than tired of Coda. So, hopefully everything goes well tomorrow and uh, get some testing in and make sure everything's okay for next week. So we are at Fun Willow getting some testing in. Uh, overall, the dog box feels great so far. Uh, went out, just did a few install laps. I haven't really set a lap time yet, but been really good. Um, feels really cool, which is nice. Uh, held the power so far. So hoping to go out next session. And uh, I happen to be here when they're doing the on-grid shootout. So a little time tech they're doing. So see how that goes and uh, yeah.